So I'm walking around the truck show and there is a, a collection of Max, a serious collection of Max, and they all belong to one man, and that's this gentleman in front of me whose name is? Yeah, Smitty. Smitty. Yeah, and the red one behind with the yellow bone on all his Right, okay, we might get a happy snap of that later. So we're standing here in front of a magic looking superliner, mate. How long you had this? That's the nature of trucking, isn't it? Yeah, that's all, I love it. The old stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how, how many trucks you got? Uh, one, two, there's half a dozen here, I think. Right. The, the white one's out the back too, you know. Okay. And the white one on the back of the Western Star. Right, and then uh, I'll just I'll just pan around here because there's a, there's an old B model sitting up there, folks. So uh, you, you're you're obviously a a, a died in the wool Mac fan, aren't you, Smitty? Yeah, I love them. Right. I've had the old B model 56 years, I think. The old yellow one. Is that right? So yeah. like when you're five. I was a four. <laughs> when you're four. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your story, mate? Uh, you're obviously a, a, being a trucky, doing trucking for a living. 75 now, and I still work six days a week. Do you? Yeah, because yeah. I've got no brains, I think. Oh, yeah, obviously your own business. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So what 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 uh, what sort of haulage do you do? Uh, at the moment, I, I've got a job with a crowd in Melbourne. I just do machinery now, just, I'm, uh, and I've got a, I'm not afraid to admit, I use a cab over cameras every day to work, because all the shit conditions we've got to go to, nowhere to turn around, and these bottom of things, you can't move them. The rail Plus, I don't want to wear them out either. No, of course not, mate. But I've got a grass 104, but it's the good thing about it, it's got a bulldog on the front of it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and when I ask about the bulldog, I just tell them, I, look, I can't afford any, I can't afford a back, mate, so I put a bulldog on the front of the camera. <laughs> and it's an old boomer one with the long ears. <laughs> Little, little do they know the truth. Mate, I've seen these trucks at, at various shows over the years, actually, but I've never never run into you for whatever reason. Usually because most people are off looking at other people's trucks. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, no, It's nice to catch up with you finally. Mate, uh, come, come, we'll go for a bit of a walk um, and show me what else you've got here. I'll just come back here so I can get a good view of that. Righto, what are you going to show me next? The latest edition. Right, oh, what year is this? Jesus, mate, it looks better than you. Uh, I sold the cab over to get out of it, so I sold the cab over to Kenworth. I reckon the older you get, the smarter you get. I reckon the older I get. No, that's, that's not true, mate. No, we start to lose our marbles. Right, and you own the one behind it yeah, as well? Yeah, that's uh, 1990 Val, 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 Val. Here. Sorry, what year is this? It's 1990. Very nice. Mate. It's, it's probably only, they're Australian, mate. It's probably only 250 of those things ever made, I think. Around 250. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where are you based, mate? I live in Park. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. And the guy who does all the work, who looks after all the miners, a uh, guy from Castle Moan, Peter Clapton, you know. Yep. He does yep. everything to him, you know. He's, right, eh? He's, he's dog man, mate. And the old R model on the back, that one, the star. Oh, we're going further, are yeah, we? Yeah, there's... Well, is this your Western Star? No, it's a mate of mine. I was going to say, that, no, that, that, no, no, that's... No, that's uh... away from the series, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's my old R model on the back of that. Jeez, another nice truck. Mate, you've obviously passion, mate. Passion. You, yeah, well, you've obviously been successful because being passionate is one thing. Having the money to, to, to achieve your passion is another. But you've got to work too, mate, is not it? Of course, yeah, they of course you do. They, they all say you get right. nothing for nothing, Smitty. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you were lucky. Look at your guys. No, no. Nobody ever gave it to me. No such thing as, as luck. So this uh, this one over here you're talking that's about Tom, before. That's Tommy Tom, Nicholson. Tom, 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 yeah, he's a good mate of mine too. Righto. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. And the way I'll girl on the back of that, he's young but probably going to end up with it because I've got no one to leave it to, you know. So he's, um, we used that uh, in his graduation from school about 12 months ago. I bet that went down and, well. And uh, he said, oh, you've got to drive it for me, Smith. And he said, because Dad can't drive it. I said, we better teach Dad because your Dad's got to take it, you know, not me. <laughs> so they took it, you know, it was the biggest hit of all time. You know? Oh, I bet it was, yeah. mate. 
Classic. So you've always been a Mac man? Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any, any rhyme or reason as to why? I mean, was your old man into Macs? Or? Nobody huh? in my entire family was ever interested in trucks. Right. And I just, when I was a kid going to school, I seen an old blue model one day, and I used to say to all my mates, I'm going to buy one of them one day. And they all used to laugh, you know. I said, well, I'm going to. Then I bought that old girl over there, which I've had, what, 56 years, and went all over Australia in it. Bloody view. And, um, Let's walk, walk up here. And slept on the floor or across the seat. We didn't sleep at all. Yeah, well, as you say, mate, there is, uh, you get nothing for nothing. Yeah, no, that's it. Oh, yeah, no, I love them. So, uh, are, we, are we almost running out of trucks that, yeah, that no, belong no, to you no. now? That's, yeah, that's enough, yeah. yeah. So, is this, is this the first one you... That's the first truck ever bought. Right, OK. 56 and, years, eh? Uh, nearly own it, mate. <laughs> you sh well, you're sure well, about that? Well, I've learned how to drive it, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, mate, no, they, 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 they don't are, make them like it anymore, man. No, they don't. They are one of the absolute classics, I reckon. I don't think... Kenworth's never come out with anything as pretty as that. Never. No, no the old W models and stuff like that, they're you know? Yes, yeah. But the, I think the older stuff in anything is better than the newer stuff today, isn't it, mate? Well... There's nothing today's made for last, is it, really? Oh. It's made for reproduction. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's same with the car, you know. Yeah, same thing. Building obsolescence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Smitty, pleasure to meet you, yeah, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And, uh, mate, I'll look forward to seeing you. I guess you'll be at Castlemaine, will you? That's where my, most of this stuff's based at Clapos at Castlemaine, anyway, you know? Yeah. So I've got to go because you cut yeah, the yeah. truck. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, mate. All right, man. All Thank best. you. Cheers, Thank pal. You. Good on you, matey.